This is the voice, this is the voice, this is the voice of Radio Free Neruda. Most Americans will spend this Labor Day doing something other than labor, maybe lying on a beach or flipping a burger on the grill. It is the traditional end of summer, but its roots go much deeper. The first Labor Day was celebrated in New York on September 5, 1882, from an idea proposed by the Central Labor Union. It caught on, and in 1894, Congress passed an act making the first Monday in September an annual holiday. One of the best things about Labor Day is that it celebrates everyone. For anyone who's ever dug a ditch, typed a memo, planted a garden, or delivered a baby. Anyone who has done honest work. The Department of Labor puts it beautifully on its website. It's a day when, quote, the nation pays tribute to the creator of so much of the nation's strength, freedom, and leadership, the American worker. So today, take a break and take a bow. And happy Labor Day. That's a page from my notebook. I'm Katie Couric, CBS News. The proceeding was brought to you by the makers at Golematic. Bright lies for dark truths.